Hey guys, it's Christine. Welcome back to my channel. And this week I'm going to be doing another Korean skincare uh, product review video. And as uh, with the other ones, I partnered with YesStyle. YesStyle is the largest global retailer of Korean beauty, whether it's fashion or skincare. And they sent me five beauty products for the month of July that I'll be reviewing uh, for you guys and basically walking you through uh, the products that they sent me. So this month, they basically focused a lot on how to fix dullness in your skin because we know that uh, this summer, especially for 2019, a lot of people want that healthy, young, glowy skin look. And that's really popular, especially with Koreans and Korean beauty. So the products that they send me are focused on making sure that you have that really natural glow. So you look like you're really healthy without having a lot caked on. So I'm going to be walking you through the five beauty products that they sent me. And then I'm going to be talking about three of them, which I actually tried out for myself. So first we have the Claw Vu Pure Pearl Sation Revitalizing Intensive Peeling Gel. So this is essentially an exfoliating gel that you use. It contains pine tree leaves and it's supposed to really help with whenever you need to exfoliate your skin. You use it one to two times a week and it basically helps you get off the dead skin cells so that you can have the healthy newer skin cells that are underneath shine through. So it helps a lot with making sure that your skin is really nice and smooth and healthy all the time. Then we have the Swanico Multi Solution Triple V Ampoule. So this has orange and lemon extracts and this actually helps to protect your skin from daily pollutants and it leaves your skin very bright and glowy. So I just use ampoules like this in my daily nighttime skin routine. Then we have the Celepi All-in-One Sika Cream. This is essentially for intensive trouble care when you have a major breakout or anything like that. And you really just use it um, to smooth on top of your skin, especially when it needs some balancing, when it feels like it's just all over the place. If you have a breakout or anything like that, or if you just need some help calming down your skin, this works the job. So you can't have a skincare review without a face mask, especially when it's for fixing your dull skin. So we have the Faith in face after shower look ultra moisturizing face mask so this is supposed to give you that really glowy natural look that you get whenever you just came out of the shower so just like with any other face mask you put this on leave it for around half an hour and then you take it off uh, pat in the extra essence left on your skin and then you watch as it becomes really nice and glowy and dewy then we have the dr. Jamie lab frozen jelly and capsule mist so this is a non-irritating gel type essence mist and it's really fine enough to actually spray on top of your makeup and it's supposed to give you that extra dewy look. You just spray it on and then it really just makes your skin glow, especially when the sun shines on it. So the three products I'm going to be reviewing today are the Ampoule, the All-in-One Sika Cream, and the Frozen Jelly and Capsule Mist. So I actually use the ampoule along with my toner for my nighttime routine. Um, this particular one is actually pretty good. Um, it just looks like this. So you unscrew the cap and then it's like you just put this on your face, a couple drops of that. Um, but I thought this particular one was a bit too oily. I like it when it's really, really light. Maybe I use too much? I don't think so though. So I think it's just a little too oily. Um, but besides that, it does leave my skin feeling very hydrated, which I like at night. I like when the nutrients just like soak into my skin when I'm sleeping. Um, again, I wish it was a little bit lighter, but other than that, not bad at all. Then I use the all-in-one Sika cream. Um, I was having issues with like little pimples here and there and like redness and this wasn't that bad. I didn't really see it do a lot. Maybe if I use it a little bit more continuously, but I feel like um, it definitely helps to calm it down. I didn't see a difference, but I did feel like it was less irritated when I put it on the problem spots on my skin. It helps with soothing it if it feels irritated. And then finally for the Dr. Jamie Lab Frozen Jelly and Capsule Mist. I actually thought it was really cool because it's like this little jelly like I don't even know I don't know how to describe it even though it looks thick in the bottle it actually sprays pretty finely not as good as like like the setting sprays and stuff that I use I do feel like if like during the winter time or when my skin really feels dry and it feels really dull then I could definitely keep this on hand so I could just spray it on my face 
that could feel a little bit more refreshed. All right, so that was pretty much it for my July skincare review. I really do think I'm going to be taking quite a few of these products with me to college and just keep them on hand to make sure when I'm adjusting to the new weather, my skin isn't freaking out or anything like that. So thank you so much, YesStyle, for sending me these cool products. And for you guys watching, if you use my code YS50Christine on their website, you can get 10% off for purchases of over $49. So be sure to head on over there, use my code, because they have some really great stuff even if you're not into skincare. They also have fashion stuff, so check out what they have. So the link to their website will be in the description box below, along with the links to the products that I reviewed in this video. So again, thank you so much for watching. The next time I see you, I will probably be in college, which is crazy. So, <sighs> that's so weird. I will see you guys in my next video. Maybe in Cambridge, maybe not. We'll see. Ah, I'm excited. Bye.